Hi guys, welcome back to Do It New YouTube channel. So please share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon. So I continuously give you the update informations. So today we are cover here the GCI. It is a chlorophyll index. So how it is exactly working? We are doing the practical on these sessions. So the chlorophyll index is used to calculate. the total chlorophyll content of the leaves the green kal green and the kal red age value are sensitive to small variation in the chlorophyll content and consist across the most species the total chlorophyll content is a linear correlated with the difference between the respective reflectance of the green red age band and near infrared band hence the kal kal green to calculate using the observation in the green range green region to uh, and the kal range age using the observation in the red age are widely used these practicals we are cover this uh, gci to exploring how exactly the chlorophyll index are, are calculating so let's we do the practical on this session just take the new projects go to open the band number 5 and band number 3 so i just write here the this x x equations v one minute so this practicals we are using here the landsat 8 uh, data uh, we are exploring the by using raster calculator to band number 5 to band number 3 minus 1 value so we are also cover the minus 0 also so band number 3 is a green band and band number 5 is a near infrared band so we just open that data band number 5 and band number 3 just open add wavelength we can adding here the wavelength just uh, all times are using the landsat data or uh, so many uh, data uh, Uh, as your requirement you can use this number of data spot sensitivity quick bird moody's landsat 71123 all so aster eyes and geo eyes also you can use so we are going with uh, landsat 8 so you can look here the central wavelength of the multi uh, factors and additional factors so you can see here so we just uh, open that data data is already opening here i'm showing you you can see here so we close this window not required after so now just uh, go to the raster calculator so just click here so open that you can look here the raster calculator open that raster calculator just yes uh, you can easily visible for you to band number 3 and band number 5 3 is a green band and a r band so uh, now we just uh, band number uh, already uh, you can see here this uh, band number 5 divided by band number 3 minus so we go with a double click on that divided by band number 3 minus by using your keyboard uh, keys are you up applying just yes, entering there can look here use and then uh, you go to save that file on selected uh, directory on here output layer yes click and uh, we we give this file name is a gci click 
uh, as your choice uh, you can also give the file format to geotips and as your requirement we have available the number of option in QGIS so you go with that so I am not explaining all this just I go with the geotip so just uh, click on ok process are required ok the process is done just uh, uncheck these two files we go with that you can see here so now we go with uh, layer uh, styling panel so open that and uh, by using uh, here single passive code you can apply that you can see here the chlorophyll index is uh, calculating the total chlorophyll content on the leaves so you can look here the green greeneries area you can easily find out here but uh, depend on the which uh, color ramp are you using so we are going with that uh, different color ramps so we go with the R D Y I G N and so apply that so we are also check here the chlorophyll index also we can change extract some you can as your choice you can apply so more greeneries uh, you can see here the discrete uh, interpretation are you uh, algorithm are you applying on that so you got the more result so this uh, plots just one of the example or uh, some place having the more chlorophyll contains and some place having the less chlorophyll contain Th this is a drought uh, actually uh, the drought area so crop is uh, cut cutting by this place so you can see the options and so we are changing here the some uh, color ramp red yellow and green rd is a red yi is a yellow and a gn is a green red yellow blue this is a short form of that you can see the red and pink red gray so we go with that uh, red is a high heated platform also we are uh, using here the spectral apply that but we not um, get the proper result so we go with that uh, ramp of the red yellow and green you can also change the color here this uh, water colors you can look here so this maps we are cover up so hope uh, you enjoy guys you can also the change here uh, some uh, blending uh, mode so you can just by using your arrow key so just change the option is in between you can see here the only water bodies you can very easily to extracting the water bodies here uh, difference by the crops and all this so we go with the normal now our practicals are cover of the chlorophyll index so we just focus on that also saturations you can look here contrast exactly uh, extracting that uh, green chlorophyll contains
okay so hope you enjoy in this tutorials we uh, cover up here the chlorophyll index to uh, is used to calculate the total chlorophyll contains on the leaves we also check here the spectral signature of that can also raster histogram to apply on that uh, just we are extracting like here so uh, frequency of the and pixel value is a wavelength and frequency so uh, it is a high peak points you give the more heated area the low peak point is a greener area so it is a variation in between this uh, result you can also save this uh, band by using a save plot so you can save this plot on the particular location so we just save this plot on that uh, place and just copy it because opening purpose yes histogram save just open that uh, path you can look here this is a hist uh, raster histogram so you got the result by using that you can also uh, applying on the classifications uh, part you can see here the value of changing and uh, that how much area are covered by this uh, class how much area classified in this class this is a different of five class you can also hear the multi band uh, options you have available but we are, we are just uh, having one single multi band so we first uh, just merging this two bands to each other and then could not possible to using the multi band because this is a single band so that's why we go with the single pseudo uh, color band also we have having options of the palette uh, palette uh, unique value so you go with that but it is having the problem to not collect uh, cover up the whole band all value so random colors we are possible possible here is applying on that and classify you can see here the got the result of like this we can also the change here the color ramp so go with here and red yellow and green so apply on that here but uh, we got the better result as in that uh, Uh, what do you see in between this uh, because you just uh, which area are highlighting in this uh, result you just uh, look here the greener is no water body is no land you can see here this uh, um, palette trade unique values you just extracting by this uh, result so hope uh, you understand the very easy you can see here also check the histogram no modification in that so we go with the single gray color so you can check here the histogram also the same no modification because the value are not changed that's why the raster histogram cal uh, result is continuously same so we come back again and go with the single band pseudo color we go, go with that you can see here the result 
सो होप यू गाइज दिस प्रैक्टिकल सेशन यू वेरी वेल अंडरस्टैंड एंड आई ट्राई टू कवर अप द क्लोरोफिल इंडेक्स टू एक्सप्लोरिंग ऑल दिस इंफॉर्मेशन सो इट इज़ यूजफुल टू योर प्रैक्टिकल पर्पज सो थैंक यू गाइज डू नॉट फर्गेट द शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन फॉर because uh, you i continuously provide you the updation about this qgis tutorial so thank you guys